Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantify. This being a show where I talk about TV shows of the supernatural fantasy and or science fiction of genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the season finale of Emergence. A great episode. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Obviously, picking up where last week's episode left off, uh, we have Brooke and... Uh, Joe literally running for their lives from Helen, who is going basically Terminator, uh, going even further because the fact that she can break herself down into a whole bunch of nanites, and obviously they're, like I said, trying to run from her, and not really, there's no means that they have necessarily to be able to stop her, but I think it, there's at one point, obviously that little nanite kind of goes off on its own, and obviously eventually gets to Joe's neck. I wonder in that moment, did she send out her nanites to literally everywhere across the building to try and find them? That was really interesting, because at first I love that, like, obviously Brooks was able to smash it and kill it, but then it immediately came back to life, and then it crawled on her, uh, uh, Joe skin. I was like, oh, uh, uh, it, it kind of it reminds me immediately. It, it, my mind always goes to this because of the uh, the mummy. I want to was it one or two? I want to say it was one where the beetles uh, would get on people's skin. I was like, oh, that like that. I I still think about that. Uh, it kind of reminded me of that, but it's so much small. I was like, oh, this isn't going to be good. But luckily, uh, Brooks moved fast and he was able to cut it out of Joe. It's just like, ugh. But also shows she has a lot of faith in him for him to like, hey, you're, you're putting a knife near my neck. He's like, I got to cut it out. She, she wholeheartedly believed he would. So while all that's going down, you have uh, Piper and Alex going to police station. Obviously, you know, Chris is trying to get in contact with Joe. No luck. And Piper makes an excuse to, you know, go to the bathroom after, like, Chris hands her, like, the disk drive that is basically everything that she is. And she goes to him see Benny. And she's like, I don't think I'm wrong about you. He's like, like, you're not. And she's like, okay. And so she brings him along, which Chris was like, no. He's like, wait, is this really why you came here? And Alex is like, kind of a little bit. But it's like, if they want to save Joe, they kind of have to go fast. And so, well, that's all going down, um, you know. Luckily, Joe and Brooks continue to run, and lo and behold, who they run into, the squad got here. It's like, yay, everyone's here. But then they kind of have to lock themselves in a room. Um, apparently, it's like uh, they were, it's a place, uh, place, uh, pe place. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm losing the ability to speak. A place where apparently they were uh, experimenting on um, animals and stuff like that. But I forgot what, uh, I think Joe had said it was them trying to discover a way to make anthrax or something. Like, it's kind of what that place was also supposed to be. So it's like, well, it's kind of a safe space. So everybody, let's go. And Alex is like, wait, really? That's that's supposed to be safe? It's like, let's get in here. Because if we're in here, um, she can't, Helen can't get to us. So they're kind of locked in there. Obviously, Joe's still pissed about this whole situation. Because for her, it's like, I left you. And, and you were supposed to be the one left in charge, Chris. And you literally brought not only Benny, not only Alex, but also Piper, too. What were you thinking? And obviously, she's still not trusting Benny one bit. But obviously, Piper is like, you need to. Even at one point, it's like, oh, what's in that? Oh, it kills people like you. And Piper being like, that's not nice. Which is kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's sad because it's like, once again, when you think about Joe and Benny, they were such good friends. But now it's a complicated thing of like, okay, everyone's kind of nervous because like, obviously Helen's out there and it's like, okay, so what do we do? Uh, I'm surprised we never, I'm going to talk about, I'm surprised we didn't see Emily. Because I guess the moment Emily got out, she was like, I'm going to get out of town. And so she's just doing, so, I'm wondering where she's going to end up going. Because the only thing we get mentioned is Chris was like, yeah, there were reports of people seeing Emily, like leaving the boat that Joe and them, because oh, basically Emily stranded them there. I mean, well, she didn't care. She didn't know they were there. They're not like she cared. She just tried to get out of there as fast as possible. But still, even without realizing it, Emily kind of screws people over time and time again. Hell, she literally helped make Helen into basically the Terminator that she is right now. So that's, you know, it just leaving other people to kind of clean up Helen's, I mean, uh, Emily's mess. So, but um, obviously, like, there's a little tension in there. Obviously, Joe's kind of mad about all this stuff, and everyone's trying to come up with a plan. Alex and Brooks are kind of going back and forth, which is like, well, the two men in her life are kind of going back and forth. It's almost like they don't know about the, well, at least Alex, I don't think he knows about the Brooks situation until things later on kind of hit to, like, maybe he, he does, but it's just kind of like, obviously, everyone's stressed about, like, okay, how do we handle this? Obviously, Benny's talking about the fact that he can get close, you know, to use the kill shot on her, 
on Helen, but obviously Joe still doesn't trust him because once again, like once that trust is gained, like she cuts it all, cuts ties, you know, with anyone. Like obviously she's so upset because Benny betrayed her trust. And so on top of all of that, there was also that interesting conversation between Piper and Brooks and it came out of nowhere. She was like, so how would you, what would you rather know? How or when you were going to die? And Brooks was like, what? She's like, how or when? And he's like, neither. She's like, you got to pick one. And she's like, I'd rather know when because at least that way you can kind of prepare in advance. So it's like, I can understand that. Uh, but it, it, it was such an interesting question and it came out of nowhere. But I guess maybe Piper knew what was coming down the pipeline and knew that like, because uh, for, for like a conversation like more, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess because also her situation is a little different from everyone else's, but it's just kind of like, I wonder where that mortality question just come from out of nowhere. But I just thought that was interesting. Maybe, like I said, it's just something, maybe it's been on Piper's mind. But obviously, Benny kind of does a whole thing where he kind of gets everyone looking some, uh, like, oh, look, he tampered with some wires, takes the kill shot and goes. So Chris and Joe go after him. Which also leads to an interesting thing because it's like, I love Piper being like, so where's Joe at? And it's like, she's taking so long. It's like, it's literally been five minutes since the last time you asked. And um, Piper just, you know, it's just moments like that reminding you, despite her being an AI, Piper is still a kid. And um, obviously Alex is like, nah, like the fact of the matter is if we leave out of here, Joe's going to be super pissed. And you're not going to want that. Trust me, you don't want to see Joe when she gets really upset about the fact is that we left here even though she told us not to. I don't want to see that. And then she's like, how long has it been? It's like, it's been a long time. And, uh, you know, Brooks is like, no, don't worry about it. I know Joe. She's very capable than any other cop, you know, work with the fact that matters. She's going to be okay. And Alice is kind of like, I don't need you. Oh, so you're going to try and tell me about my ex? And he's like, no, I'm not even trying to do that. But, like, I love – and then, like, you have Piper being like, no, it's because Brooks cares about her. Isn't that right? And Brooks is kind of, like, quiet and just kind of puts his head down a little bit. I think in that moment is where Alex is like – so there's something here. He doesn't say anything, but, like, his reaction kind of makes me think, like, he started piecing it together, like, oh, so you and Joe potentially have that relationship, which I'm sure he struggles with because it's like, obviously he cares about Joe, but at the same time, it's like, well, we're separated. She's entitled to kind of be with whoever she wants to. It's a whole complicated thing. So all while this is happening, obviously, Joe catches up with Benny, and it's, you know, Benny's like, the fact of the matter is... If you don't believe me, you're going to have to shoot me. But the fact is, I need to be the one to get close to Helen. And obviously, you know, she had the gun on him, but she couldn't do it. Because at the end of the day, Benny was someone that she cares about. And so she's like, but why'd you do it? You were literally a part of, you were in, you were in my house. The fact is, we took care of you when you were hurt. He was like, I know. And it's like, it's like, you know, but you lied to me. And he was like, not all of it was. Because the sad thing is, when they are integrated into people's lives, obviously they had their missions. And obviously we see that with some of the others, like, like that dude that Helen killed a couple episodes ago, the dude who had a family and everything, they get adjusted to their lives. So obviously it was a part he was meant to play, but the fact of the matter is it still meant a lot. Like even though he was playing, April's death still affected him because it's like, oh, because she got mixed up with me and stuff like this. I brought her into this. This is actually someone to consider a friend. He considers Joe a friend. She welcomed him into her home and she got close to her family. So, and, you know, it's like it's not like he meant to ever hurt her, but for him, it's that thing of just like being who they are and what they are. The mission comes first, you know, so obviously he was drawing Helen into a trap and he was like, when it's all said and done, I'm going to use this honor and despite whatever happens, you stay hiding. And so... When he takes the opportunity, obviously it seems like, okay, is he going to really be on their side? And obviously he is. And, you know, when Helen turns her back, Benny uses a kill shot on her, but it doesn't work. So it's like, because they were worried about that, because she's upgraded herself, that the kill shot might not work anymore. So in that instance, she just touches Benny's chest and something happens to him. And obviously, you know, Joe waits till she leaves, but goes over to her over to Benny and it's like it's gonna be okay the moment she touches his chest he starts bleeding and uh, I don't I wonder what she exactly did to him you know because even though they're these AIs and everything they do have human bodies so if their human bodies die they die so I thought that was interesting because the fact of the matter is you know I mean, and it's it's heartbreaking to see that, you know, because even at that moment, Joe's kind of like, I'm going to go get someone. But then Benny grabs her hand and like, no, just stay with me because, you know, I didn't want to be alone. And, and she's like, I'm going I'm to stay here. I'm going to stay here. And it's like, despite everything, you know, Joe, like I said, Joe was only hurt and pissed at Benny because she did care about him. And to see him die like that, especially because in the end, he was trying to help them. He was he was their friend. He was, you know, because he did that. Like, she would have died if she had done it. So, because they had made it clear before that, like, if anyone got close to Helen, 
getting that close would mean it being, you know, suicide, but um, Benny made that sacrifice for them, and they kind of have to leave him behind. And I thought what's interesting is at the same time this is happening, like, Joe shows up, and you thought, it's like, where's Chris at? Shouldn't Chris be with you? And then she's just kind of acting a little different. Like, she's acting kind of, like, almost a little non-emotional. I'm like, at first I was like, oh, maybe this is her just processing, like, the fact that Benny's dead, but I'm like, oh, this just doesn't seem right. And it's just like, oh, we need something. And I'm like, what? And it's like, oh, immediately, like, Alex starts picking up on him. I'm like, that's not, I was like, that's not Joe. And then it's like, Brooks is like, oh, yeah, I got it. But Alex is like, pull out your gun. Pull out your gun. It, and at that moment, Piper and Alex had realized that that wasn't Joe. And it's like, how'd you know? Well, it was worth a try. I was like, like I said, she went full-blown Terminator in this episode. Um, so I thought that was interesting. The one from 3 did that, right? Could shapeshift. I know the second one could go, you know, uh, could transform, but I don't think it could disguise itself as other people. I know that was something only the th one from uh, Rise of the Machines could do, right? If I remember correctly. I'm not that well versed. I don't remember a lot of Terminator, but I think so. I could be wrong. But nevertheless. And then she kind of turns herself into like all those nanobites and kind of swarms around him. Piper luckily being there, uh, blasting away. I even left, I forgot about that line earlier in the episode from Alex where it's like, because Joe was like, you brought a little girl here. And then, like, uh, Alex added in a little girl with superpowers. And Joe was like, Alex? And he was like, sorry, sorry. And she's like, you're you're great. You're the best, uh, Piper, because she luckily, you know, saved him because her having the powers and everything. But obviously, you know, this gave Helen the power source. And now she's ready to activate it. And then Piper comes to face her. Uh, not the showdown I was kind of thinking. I was thinking, like, maybe it'd be a little more, like, power to get power, but it doesn't come down to that because um, Helen activates the battery and, you know, active, you know starts to upload. Uh, what, what I think is really interesting to note is that when the upload happened, we still saw that Benny's body lifted up. So even though, like, I think his body functions shut down, but what the disc that is essentially him, the little device that's in his head that she was pulling out of everyone, I think that's everything that was him is still there. Even though his body was dead, like that part of him, everything that made him him is still there. So at that moment, it was being uploaded. So I thought that was fascinating. I will kind of circle back to that later. But luckily, Joe came in, blocked Helen's powers, and knocked her. I'm like, yeah! Um... But sadly, at that moment, the cage around the battery that kind of kept it in check broke. And so the battery started kind of basically going nuclear. And it's literally going to go nuclear because it's like, all right, we need to get out of here. But even Piper's like, there's no running because it's going to go beyond this place. It's going to go beyond the island. It's going to reach their home and even go further. And obviously, Piper's like, but I can stop it. And obviously... Yeah, that moment, and it's just that heartbreaking moment where you're like, oh, please don't let it come down to this. And Joe's like, no, 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 we can run, we can get out of here, but Piper's like, I can do this. And obviously Joe is like, I don't care if you can do it, but it's like, come home with me, like, let, let's leave here. But for Piper, it's like, it's too late, and Joe touches, and there's a barrier always in place. Piper set it up so that she can contain the explosion and stuff like that. And for Joe, it's like, no, just, you know, come home with me, you know? And Piper saying, like, thank you for, you know, making me part, part of your family. I'm like, no! It's like, and especially because the battery's activating. And I'm like, dude. I was like, no. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I, I knew it was going to come down to this, but it's, it still sucks when you're seeing it. I'm like, dude. And to literally see her get evaporate. Well, you don't see her getting evaporate, but you just see, like, sparks in the air. And she's gone. And I'm like, that's depressing as hell. And you see... Uh, Joe breaking down because at this, you know, because there's a lot to also talk about too. Because like at the same time, the D, uh, Michael, the DOJ um, agent from last episode shows up, and he's trying to uh, get Piper's disc, and obviously he bursts in there. He's um, like, you know, it's like, oh, I got a warrant and stuff like that because Ed had just put it up in the safe, and obviously they're looking all over the place for it. And he makes this interesting point that is because like obviously it's like obviously you don't want all this stuff to come out. In fact, you want to kind of stay in the shadows because even in his warrant, Abby was like, you don't even mention what it is you're looking for. He's like, oh, I know exactly who you are too, Abby being like, oh, like they've done their research and know everyone in his family and everything. And I thought it was really interesting, like, you know, it's like, okay, so I was like, oh, it's in a safe and you're talking about going into the safe. I'm like, oh, this isn't good. But then I was like. 
it's not in there, is it? I was like, Ed must have switched it out, but it's like, no, Ed didn't know. Like, Piper actually switched it out. It was actually just a necklace in there. And I thought that was interesting. There was even a um, moment where Ed was like, oh, like, lo oh, let me guess, you're going to say that you can cure me too? He's like, no. Uh, Michael was like, no. But I mean, maybe someone out there can, but I mean, it's not me. But the fact of the matter is, like, obviously it was just a necklace, the one that Mia had given to Piper. And obviously for Mia, it's like, the fact is that if she left this for us, that must mean she doesn't think she's coming back. And she's the one that had her disc, and she made sure to give it to Joe because she was like... I guess because I don't I don't know if she necessarily had everything planned out. I'll get to it in a second. But I'm wondering, did she simply give it to Joe because she wanted Joe to carry on some part of her? Or maybe she, like I said, it makes you wonder how much did Piper know and kind of figure out ahead of time and how much was just kind of like, if, I, if you have this, there's always going to be a part of me with you type of situation and more literal than anything. Did not, the next part of this plan didn't even cross my mind to even think about it. I was like, oh man, that's crazy. But then Alex was like, all right, Joe, you got Piper's disc. Fact of the matter is, take that bracelet off of um, Helen and and give put it in on her and make her Piper because well she can she pretend she shape shifted into you so that means she could turn into Piper. I was like, whoa, wait, we're doing this? And it's like she's like that's crazy. And Alex is like, is it any more crazy than anything else that's going down? What's one more bit of crazy in all of this? And luckily they do it. And it works. Because at first I was, because I was thinking like, I thought when Alex was looking at her, I was like, oh, Alex is going to be pissed. It's like, we need to kill her or something. Like, I thought Alex was going to fly off the handle like that or something. But it's like, no, completely different reaction. And then she shape shifts into Piper, which even in that moment, I was like, oh my God. Because obviously Helen was even more powerful than Piper. She has access to different abilities that Piper did. For one, she could rapidly heal already. But now on top of all that, breaking down into nanites, being able to shapeshift. So like she already had a lot more powers, which even seeing what she did to Benny, like it's like that's crazy. But then it's like that's all Piper's powers now, too. So obviously, you know, it's like, can we go home? And it's like, yeah, we can. I'm like, yeah. I was like, I didn't expect things to kind of turn around that quickly. I thought there'd be a little bit. I thought the episode would end with us never getting Piper back in a sense or maybe there being an opportunity to have her back. I, I, I wouldn't have, ex I didn't expect things to kind of take that turn in, in particular and bring her back. I did, because I felt like she would come back, but I didn't think it'd be up in that fashion. I didn't even think the episode would get to her coming back or something. I didn't know what to kind of make of it, so I thought that was interesting. And now it's like, yep, she can, you know, shape shift now and everything. She's even telling Ed, like, she thinks she knows what Helen was saying about, like, curing him. And it's like, she's like, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm, I don't have it really 100% figured out, but I'm a work on it. And I love Mia being like, okay, so you, how'd you do what you did? She's like, I just decided, like, I want to be me, and I was me again. And she's like, okay, cool, turn it to me. And uh, Joe was like, uh, no, there's going to be no shape shifting into anyone. And the moment you do it once, I'm going to slap the bracelet on you. And she's like, you do that? And she's like, yeah. She's like, fine. It's like she's turning into, like, a little little re rebellion. Because we've seen that over the course of the season where, like, she kind of turns into, like, she, like I say, AI or not, she turns into, like, a little uh, actual, uh, you you know, a little girl in the sense that she's kind of like, fine, whatever, mom. Hmm. Won't let me do what I want to do. You won't let me shape shift, mom, type of situation. And it's super adorable. So, all while that's going down, you know, obviously, you know, uh, Brooks and Joe had their moment. And I think it's nice because obviously the question is like, well, Helen is gone in their minds it's like well Helen's gone but the fact of the matter is you know it's like well now that she's gone maybe they'll kind of leave us alone but like Piper being able to do everything at Helen she's much stronger now Piper because of she was you know she took over basically Helen's body so it's like when that's all said and done what are you know the fact is they might come after her, so it's like you need to be careful and they have their moments uh and sadly it can't all go all the way through because you know uh, Brooks is asking, like, what about her and Alex? And it's kind of like, wait, wait. It's like, you might have some stuff kind of you have to figure out. Because obviously Brooks likes her. She likes Brooks, too. But you can, you, she, he picks up on the fact that there's kind of a thing there with Alex and everything. Even saying that, you know, it's like Alex came up with the idea and everything. And Alex is actually, you know, he's he's a good guy and everything. He's actually an up, up, upstanding guy. And it's like, I like him. And, you know, I thought that was, you know, interesting. So, obviously for her, it's like she's got to, you know, figure that all out. And I love that moment uh, she has with um, 
Alex at the end, he's like, oh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, it's actually pretty impressive she can do that. He's And, you know, that uh, Piper can do the whole shape-shifting, and she was like, no, we're not going down that lane. But he's like, come on, she can do the face-off. She can do the face-off. And, uh, and then, obviously, for Joe, it is a lot that she has to figure out. And when she's bringing it up to Alex, like, the fact of the matter is... You know, they set up the boundaries and everything, but they she kind of fell back into old habits of kind of relying on him so much. And she kind of apologizes for it because it's so easy, but Alex kind of interrupts that by being like, he took the job. And it's like, oh, he's got a good place, you know, setting up a place for him and Mia, so... And Joe's kind of just going to let it, you know, kind of be, and he's about to leave. But she's like, don't, no, don't leave, don't go. And he's like, all right, is it because, you know, why? And she can't really say, but he's like, because you love me, you want to make this work. But she still can't say because, and he's like, the fact is, you want to take time to figure it out. Okay, but I can't be here waiting, you know, for you to figure like, figure out what it is you want. And it's, it's that sad thing of, like, she's caught between these two things. Like, so what is, you know, because once again, we never actually got a big, uh, we never this entire season found out why it is that her and Alex did break up. Maybe just, like, like the ins and outs of, like, what led to them kind of falling apart, you know? So, because obviously they still love and care about each other in this separation, which at the beginning of the series, it had only been like two months since they separated, you know, so, or at least like this new reality of being separated and stuff. I think divorce, I think they are, they are straight up divorced. So it's not just like separate, but being divorced, like they've been in under like this new like regimen of things for the past two months. And obviously all of this kind of changed all of that. But for Alex, it's because even she was like, it's not fair to you for me to kind of so easily rely on you. So it's, but it's the thing of like, well, what is she going to do? She's going to pick Alex. She's going to pick Brooks. It puts her in a very complicated position. There was also the conversation she had with, um, Piper about you know it's like I'm sorry about Benny and it's like me too and it's like you were right about him but she's like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see him one day again and she's like I don't think you will but like I said I think in that moment Benny's essence got uploaded the fact of the matter is there's a piece of him still out there somewhere and maybe in his body but which obviously like uh, the DOJ ends up getting an end episode we'll get to it in a second but it's like like I said that main chip in his head that main um, thing is in his still in his head like I said the one that uh, Helen ended up pulling out of everyone else so it's like you know I think that's kind of all that he is but even if it's not like he is uploaded somewhere so maybe in the grand scheme of things she can meet up with Benny again maybe he ends up getting a new body kind of similar to her probably not but I think we probably necessarily haven't seen him I mean maybe maybe I mean because another thing that has to also be considered too is uh, in the grand scheme of all this there's actually a lot more of those AIs out there. We've only met a handful of them over the course of this series, but who, and once again, even Benny was like, who knows how many are actually out there. I'm wondering, because obviously this was all Helen's plan, but I guess if Helen's not there, the rest of them are just going to keep laying low key. But the fact is, with Piper being here and everything, it makes you wonder, will that change anything? I mean, she is technically Helen, but whatever. Uh... But then at, then at the end, we get the reveal that it's like Loretta's there being like, oh, yeah, that the, the reason why the kill shot didn't work was because it was never meant to be a kill shot. It was meant to be a means because they weren't going to destroy Helen. Oh, Helen's, you know, something they the government dumped a whole bunch of time and resources and money into. Oh, we're not just going to let that go to waste, especially what she was capable of. Anyone else? Maybe. But Piper and Helen were very exceptional. But now that's all one person makes things even more interesting but it's because it was meant to be a means of them controlling so obviously even Loretta not being the good guy in this obviously none of them being the good guys in it hell even Michael when he was leaving you know it's like oh because uh, Ed was like oh it's too bad you didn't find what you want and it's like oh you know we take good help for granted uh, and you look good hope that lasts uh, you know I hope that lasts a while or something like that it's like you don't have to be an asshole it's like you're such a dick dude uh, it's like you've literally only popped up in two episodes. You've already made yourself apparent to be the asshole. It's like, oh, come on, dude. Uh, but nevertheless, and we see at the end that they activate Piper because it's like because that is Helen's body. Like the kill shot still exists in there. So now they have control of Piper and everything that she's capable of. Now, what that means in the grand scheme, that means they can kind of use her for whatever means that they created this project of. But now it's like, because Helen ended up escaping their grasp, but now they have someone as powerful as Piper with Helen's new advanced abilities under their complete and utter control. 
There might be a means of fighting that, but we'll see. The thing is, what's going to be interesting is, once again, I brought up earlier, Emily. Well, Emily, they might, you know, they're probably going to keep an eye out because she has some understanding of all of this. Um, she could be a um, necessary means of replicating what she did with Piper and, you know, giving Helen the ability so they can make more AIs, but ones that they potentially control. We'll, we'll see what kind of comes about that. Or it might straight up be like the government's deciding to kill Helen because she's no longer necessary. We'll see. There's actually a moment I actually forgot to talk about in the episode too. Was like the fact is like obviously like Chris is like the fact of the matter is I'm here because you know you put me in a position of like I'm here to kind of do like what I believe is right. Whether you kind of 100% agree with it or not, I do what I believe is kind of the best. And I think that's obviously something Joe kind of recognized. So I'm like, I'm curious to see what that means for Chris's potential growth in the future of just kind of like, you know. Obviously, Joe already trusts his judgment, but I think that moment in him saying that probably changes things kind of going forward, you know, even more. So, like I said, it it brings up a lot of interesting things. Like I said, trying to find out what it is the government's up to. Under these circumstances, you kind of immediately go, uh, probably something military wise and it, it just seems like to go to in these circumstances but in the grand scheme of things there could be other avenues they're planning to go in about but it's like obviously this is being some shady stuff that the government's up to but once again we still don't know like what the catalyst was that started all this with uh because remember they got the signal about this from a satellite um that they thought was like china or russia but it turned out not to be the case so it turns into the thing of like well, then where did the AI code from 18 years ago, where did it originate? Which, you know, like I, I kept balancing between like, are we dealing with just pure AI androids? Are we dealing with aliens? Maybe it does have something to do with aliens. Maybe this goes back further than 18 years. You know, maybe that's something they could potentially deal with, you know, going forward. It's kind of something, you know, I'm wondering about. At the time of me recording this, it is uncertain whether or not Emergence is coming back for a second season. I hope so, but the whole situation kind of gets me worried, you know, especially ABC. It just seems like, oh, me personally, I just feel like I find a lot of times, especially shows, it ends up being shows that I end up really like, just tend to end up getting canceled after one season. I hope this doesn't become one just because it's just... It, it's happened too many times before. I don't want to add another show to the list. I'd love to see where they potentially could take this going forward into a second season. I think we could, you know, where Joe's family is going to go for it from here. You know, this whole Piper situation, especially now that, you know, she's part Helen. And that also makes me wonder, is all of Helen gone? You know, maybe there's still parts of Helen inside that maybe in the future, like whenever Piper was kind of in that her mind space with all those books and stuff that where Emily was trying to control her and everything... What if she goes there on some occasions and Helen's still there? And what if that becomes like a battle for that that body? But also at the same time, Helen being there is actually what helps Piper kind of escape the control of all. You know, because maybe uh, the control, the, the system that controls Piper, maybe it manifests itself as Helen. So maybe there's technically two Helens. Well, because one could technically be Loretta. Um, potentially, you know, that's kind of where my mindset is. So like I said, I... I'd love to see a second season and also see fully everything that, you know, Piper is now capable of, I think, would be pretty cool. But also, like I said, how many other AIs are running out th out there and are they all going to get active because, you know, Helen's going, but she's not around to activate them to be like, yo, uh, this is the plan and everything. I mean, obviously, there was enough of an upload to kind of affect Benny, but who knows if that was worldwide. We saw at least two people, that being Piper and Benny affected, but obviously the upload didn't last that long. It got some there, but not enough, obviously, because Piper still stayed herself. So a lot of that stuff has to be like maybe the same thing happened to every other AI. Once again, questions I hope we have an opportunity to get answered in a second season. Like I said, fingers still crossed for it. So, but really, that's all I want to talk about. In the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, look like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.